In this video today, I will show you how you can create a green rectangle to highlight something in your videos. For example, I do this with my tutorials to highlight something in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. And I show you now this, how this works in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So, hey, and welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro for the iPad. So if you're into that, hit subscribe, hit the like button and let's continue. So the easiest way how you can create this because there's a couple of ways is actually if you come up here to titles and you select a basic title, the text title. So I drag and drop this here into my timeline. I select the title and now we go to the inspector. In the inspector, we actually just delete the basic text because we don't need it. And if we scroll down, you will see here background. You can have a color for the background and an outline color. We choose the outline color and the outline color, let's say for example here, a green. And at the moment we don't see anything because we first have to change the settings. The outline width is the thickness of the line. Then we have the width. And the reason why we don't see anything yet is the height. So now when we increase the height, you see now you get this little box that you can change. To get rid of the black color, scroll down a bit more until you see here opacity. Change the opacity to zero. So at the moment, my outline width is not thick enough. So I will increase this like this. And now with the width and the height, I can play around to increase or make my box smaller. So let's say I just want to make something like a little box like this. Then you have the X and Y values where you can change this one around on your screen. So let's say, for example, I want to mark this around here where these two icons are. And if you don't want to see any of the corners, then you can come up here to corner radius. If you swipe it all the way to the left, you have a exactly rectangle. If you swipe it all the way to the right, you will get this oval circle like shape. Of course, you can use X and Y to change the position on the screen, but I don't create these rectangles all the time. So sometimes I use a couple of rectangles in my project. So what I do is I basically come in here, cut and take this here, for example, here to this position. And now I want to change the rectangle to a different position. As I said, you can use X and Y to change it, but there's a little bit of faster way. You can come up here to this settings and keep the transform settings on. Now you see this white rectangle because this is still selected. I can now simply with my mouse or my finger or my pencil, take this and drag this around. This is a way faster way to put it and onto this position where you like. Let's say I wanna highlight here the tip of the Apple Pencil and even the size, you can change the size, make it bigger or smaller just here by using this. That's the way how I do it. But of course you can always come back in here if you select this, go in the inspector and change the values here as well. And that is the easiest way how you can create a rectangle or a shape form to highlight something in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong. I'm Daniel and we see us in the next video. Bye.